and we're back in the apartment. So we got this uh, mini split here. We're at that department that has all these things when they leak. This particular one isn't leaking, or at least that's not what they called for. I'm probably gonna check the charge on this, but um, there's no power. Thermostat's blank, but I am getting high voltage because this is blinking, so we're gonna check the voltage first. So here we go. <laughs> So I'm checking between line one and line two, and I got no voltage. Okay, but how's the pump working? Well, I think that means we lost one leg, because if I go line one to ground, I got 120. Line two to ground, I got 120. So we need to go check that service disconnect. They did have a power uh, outage recently, so maybe one of the fuses popped. So let's go check that out. Well, so here's the thermostat. It's off so I'm gonna check the breaker okay so we're checking out our breaker we have 213 212 so our breaker is good so now we need to uh, I'm gonna check the indoor head now that I've reset it and then if it's still not where it needs to be then we will check the disconnect up on the roof all right so yeah we still don't have voltage uh, after resetting the breaker all right, so we're at our service disconnect. Uh, so we go line in, which is from our breaker. We're good. We go to load. And we have voltage. So we know that this is good. So we can put this all back together and then we'll double check again. We might have an issue with the pump maybe. Maybe there's something up with the switch, uh, the overflow switch. Okay, so this wire nut here is line one. So you have two connections. One is power, line one for the pump. The other one is line one through the uh, overflow switch back into line one on the head. So if we go, um, so if we're checking from here to here, we lost a leg, which is line one, right? Now, if we check from here to line two, so that's basically checking line one and line two, we should have voltage, which we do. So that means the pump, for some reason, even though it's not showing an alarm, because usually this will blink red, um, it's basically, you have the high voltage going in through here, through the alarm, and then through this wire and into here. But for some reason, it's not making it past the pump, so therefore the head has no power, and that's why the thermostat doesn't kick on. So, there's something wrong with the pump. So, thankfully, I actually brought a spare. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the pump out of the circuit. We're going to hook everything up direct. I'm going to make sure it works fine. And then, if everything's working good, then we'll change the pump and then uh, I'm gonna see if there's you know make sure it's actually cooling because I'm pretty sure this is gonna leak at some point if it hasn't already I don't feel any oil usually there's oil on these so this one might be okay but yeah we'll go ahead and verify operation first and then go from there so I'm gonna go kill the power and get this wired up well thermostat kicked back on you know it's blowing air so basically I've removed the pump and I have everything connected directly. So let's go ahead and just check our voltage. Pretty sure it's fine now, but yeah, see? So our voltage is there. So the overflow switch on here failed. Um, this pump's nasty too, so uh, luckily I brought an extra one with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the pump. All right, she's uh, got the new pump installed. She's blowing cold. Um, they told me not to bother off the refrigerant charge. Apparently this one was fixed, supposedly. Um, so I think, as you can see, there's an oil stain here. So I think somebody charged it up and, you know, did a charge and go. Uh, but as of now, it's working. So they told me they don't want to authorize any additional time to check that. So, yeah. So anyway, um, I cleaned the filter too. Always check the filters on these. Worst call back ever. Anyway, hopefully this helps you out, so thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like the tools I use, like this one, uh, go ahead and visit my store and pick one up for yourself. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.